It's 12 a.m. already. Can we please talk about the proposal tomorrow? Yeah, thank you. Please tell Miss Kate to drop the documents on my table. Yeah, thank you. Have a nice night. Oh my God, who's there? Oh my God. Bro. Brian, What's up, man? you are drunk again. Are you stupid? Why are you to ask me silly questions? Ryan, you know, you can't keep living your life this way. Will you shut up? You know, I see you don't want to learn and... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh. you talk to me in that manner. Are you in control of your life? Ryan, what's going on? I will still have to take care of this mess. Ryan, please, I want to speak with you. You can talk, I'm all ears. Please, can you drop your phone and concentrate? Because I want to discuss something very important with you. Thank you. I'm so glad you're giving me a chance to talk to you. Why wouldn't I give you the chance? You are my brother. Ryan, to be honest, I really don't like the way you are living your life. Whatever decision we make today determines our future. I need you to make the best decisions in life. Find something doing. You know, make mom and dad proud. Also yourself, make yourself proud. I think that's true. Come to think of it, the way you leave, the way you drink, the way you club, the way you hang around with different girls. It's not a good way to live. Thank you so much. You know, brother, this is the best advice I've ever had this year. I really appreciate it. You know what? What? Why don't you take up a job as a motivational speaker? <laughs> You know, Evans, I think I'm actually getting good with my acting skills. Or, oh, what do you think? Oh, you thought I was feeling you? Really? So you take all of this for a joke? Definitely. Because no one has the right to teach me how to live my life. Now get out. Get out of here! Now. I went to the office today and I got some cash. Really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> you told me you needed the bag, right? Yes, I do. I'll get it for you. Are you serious? Definitely. Wow, baby. Oh, thank you so much. Ryan! I love you. And why would you scream my name? Ryan, I need to speak with you. You know, babe. Oh. Um, we need privacy. All right. I'll be waiting for you in the room when you're done. Just meet me. Okay. So, what is it that you want? Ryan, the secretary called me and she told me you are at the office today. She request for some money. And so what? That's the reason you are screaming? Ryan, this is unfair. This is wrong. We can't run the company like that. You don't contribute to office work. And you still take money from the company as you wish. Just shut up. Listen. The company 
belongs to the both of us. I can do whatever I want. I see you're busy when I came in. I think I need to leave now. So you can continue. Whatever. I think you should excuse yourself now. Babe! Babe? Yes, Oli? Come over now. <laughs> no! Uh, listen, listen. We are still holding the party. Yes, yes, yes. Definitely. What about Job? And Maxwell? <laughs> now, um, listen up. I want the girls to be around. No! No, man. Okay. Um, bro, hold on, hold on. What is it? I think you are distracting me. Are you stupid? No, tell me. Is something wrong with you? You know I'm working on a very important project, and if I ask you to assist me, you won't. Oh, you think I'm lazy because I'm not getting myself involved in the company's work? Listen carefully. I don't have time for those rubbish. Do you understand? You can employ someone to take the position and everything will go smoothly. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I'm, I'm sorry. I mean no offense. Let this be the last time you disturb my call. Nonsense. Oh, it's nothing serious, my brother. Always disturbing. Yes, sure, the party's gonna be late. <laughs> Good thing, man, she's coming around. <laughs> I can't wait to meet Jane, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Evans, Evans. Oh my god. Ryan, Evans. What happened? I'm in trouble. What have I done? Ryan, relax. What have I done? Relax. Talk to me. What just happened? <laughs> He's Ryan. dead. Who oh, is dead? He's dead. I, 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 I didn't do anything. I swear to God, I was just there at the wrong time. I don't know. I know nothing about it. Who oh, is dead? And um, what are you talking about? We were at the club. Okay. Then some guys came in and they, they stabbed Daniel. They stabbed Daniel. Daniel is dead. But how did you get blood stain on your clothes? The blood splashed on me because I, I, I was sitting next to him and when, when, when he was on the ground, I, I, I tried to fight in him and all of a sudden, I don't know where the cops came in from and at one point that I killed him, I swear to God I was innocent. Evans, I was innocent, I swear to God Evans, I was innocent. How did you get here faster than the cops? I took the, the, I took the corners, but the cars cannot, cannot pass and that's how I got here. That doesn't matter because they will still come here to look for you. I had no pain to run to. I, 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 had, I, had, I, I had nowhere to go. Do you know she might rot in jail for this? Evans, please, please, I don't want to go to jail. Give me your clothes. What, Evans, what for? Give me your shirt.
change your ways. I love you, brother. Go now. Young man, you are under arrest for the murder of Mr. Dan Alex. You have the right to remain silent. Because anything you say will be used against you or maybe used against, against you in the court of law. law. You have the right <laughs> for an attorney. attorney. You do have one. The state will provide one for you. Now move.